welcome to Goggle Cam, the internet's first first-person video of how to do lab. To prepare your sample for the Atomic Force microscope, we need to get the sample holder ready, and it starts out as a steel disc. We want to a flat surface for it though, so we're going to grab a cover slip. But you want to be careful, this is thin glass. We want to stick the cover slip to the steel, so we're going to use one of these sticky tabs. Where <clears throat> just like it says press and then lift off. That leaves some adhesive on the steel then we can center our glass slide on the steel and press it to stick onto that sticky surface then we'll clean this with soap and water and blow it air dry before we use it in the next step to prepare spin casting of our polymer we're going to first dissolve it in a solvent, which is dichloromethane. And since dichloromethane is carcinogenic, I'm going to work with it in the fume hood. So here I have some of my polymer solid, and I'll just add a little bit of dichloromethane so that it dissolves to make a homogeneous solution. Our homemade spin caster consists of a Dremel tool mounted in this box whose speeds can be controlled by the Variac. So first we're going to center our sample holder to the steel onto this magnet so that it will spin evenly when we turn on the Dremel tool. So we'll turn on the power to the Variac and turn up the voltage you see that the sample starts to spin. It's not quite centered. We adjust it a little bit. Then we turn it up to about 14% voltage. Now we take our solution with our polymer in it and we're going to place a few drops into the center of the spinning disk so we don't want to touch the glass just add a couple drops to the center as you can see the liquid spreads out quickly so that we get even evaporation and more even coating of the surface as opposed to other methods of casting a film of the polymer. We let that evaporate for a few minutes and then we'll be ready to use the sample with the atomic force microscope tapping mode. <clears throat> 